good afternoon children i hope you all are well yesterday we have started the lesson plant life let us move ahead with stems today the part of a plant that rises vertically up from the ground is called the stem the stem of a big tree is called a trunk it is strong thick and woody neem and mango trees have such a stem you can see the picture of neem tree and mango tree here you can see the picture of banana tree here some stems are thick and soft as in the banana plant some stems are weak soft and green for example money plant they are also called climbers as they need support to stay upright you can see it in the picture this is a banana plant the stems are thick and soft and this is a money plant the stems are weak soft and green they always need a support to stay upright the stem supports the plant above the ground it bears branches leaves buds flowers and fruits as you have already seen in the picture of a plant the stem carries water and mineral absorbed by the roots to all parts of the plant these are the functions of stem the third function of stem is some stem store food in them such as sugarcane potato ginger etc stems like potato and ginger are underground stems we eat these stems you can see the picture of potato and ginger over here plant of potato and ginger this is a potato plant you can see the potato here these are the underground stem now let us see the ginger plant these are the gingers and these are the stems now we will learn about leaf this is the picture of leaves you can see the blade which is also called the leaf blade or lamina these are the veins this is the midrib and these are the petiole and the nodes
let us move ahead with some important facts about leaf the leaf is the thin flat broad and green part of a plant leaves are the most important part of a plant they contain chlorophyll that helps the plant to prepare their food using sunlight carbon dioxide and water and children you must be knowing the preparation of food by using sunlight carbon dioxide water is called photosynthesis today we are going to see the chlorophyll present in the leaves see how the chlorophyll looks like in the leaves functions of leaves leaves are called the kitchen of a plant they prepare food for the plant the sunlight is coming from here and chlorophyll is present on the leaves it is getting water and minerals from the soil it is taking in carbon dioxide and it is releasing oxygen during the process of making food green leaves prepare food for plants by using water and carbon dioxide in in the presence of sunlight this process is called photosynthesis as you all know when the leaves make food they also give out oxygen all living things need oxygen to live so plants are very important for us to live some leaves like mint and cabbage store extra food in them we eat these leaves you can see from the picture cabbage and mint now let us study about flowers yes they are the most beautiful part of the plants they look very beautiful and bright flowers are the most beautiful and colorful part of a plant they are of different color shape and sizes they are the reproductive part of a plant the flower first appears as a bud on the stem gradually the bud grows in size and the petals open into a beautiful flower you can see it in the picture first the bud is appearing and it is growing here now you can see the flower is coming out and here it is growing into a flower let us now study the parts of a flower as you can see in the picture these are 
the petals. This is called the anther. This is the filament. This part of a flower is called receptacle. And the middle part is called the ovary. These are the sepals. This is the style. And this is the stigma. Let us now study about the uses of flowers. It provides food. It is a good source of honey. It is also a source of medicine. It provides beauty to the nature and the surroundings. Provides perfumes and scents. It is also used for decoration and to prepare dyes. Now, with this, we have come to the end of this chapter. Thank you all for watching.